Sanika has two strings of ten and three single beads. If she gives Jawed eight beads, how many beads will she have left? Single beads with Sanika, three. Beads to give Jawed, eight. We cannot give eight beads from three single beads. That is, we cannot subtract eight from three units. Now here, under tens you have two, under units you have three. Now in order to find out the answer, we will subtract eight from twenty-three. So we must untie one string of ten. Now we have two times three units. It is as same as one times thirteen units. Out of thirteen units, we give eight beads to Jawed. We have five single beads left and one string of ten too. As you notice in this sum, thirteen minus eight is five. One minus zero is one. So Sanika is left with fifteen beads. Subtraction by untying a ten. Preparation. Now, children, twenty-eight means two tens eight units. You know that. If we untie one ten, we get ten ones. So, then it would be one ten eighteen units. So, two tens eight unit means one ten eighteen units. Twenty six. Twenty six means two tens, six units. If we untie one ten, we'll get ten units. Now ten units and six units would be sixteen units. So now we have one ten, sixteen units. Two tens, six unit means one ten, sixteen units. Fifteen. Fifteen means one ten five units. If we untie one ten, then we'll get ten units. So now we have zero tens fifteen units. So one ten five units means zero ten fifteen units. Forty-seven. Forty-seven means four tens, seven units. If we untie one ten, we'll get ten units. So now we have three tens, seventeen units, which means four tens, seven units is equal to three tens, seventeen units. Thirty-two. Thirty-two means. Three tens, two units. If we untie one ten, then we have ten units. Now, thirty-two means two tens, twelve units. So three tens, two unit means two tens, twelve units. Subtraction by untying a ten. Preparation. Manju, Vidya, and Raju all went to a shopkeeper. They all wanted to buy pencils. Manju said to the shopkeeper, "I need thirty pencils." Manju asked for thirty pencils. So shopkeeper gave three boxes of ten pencils each to Manju. Vidya said, "I need three pencils." Vidya asked for three pencils. So shopkeeper opened the box of ten pencils 
counted three pencils and gave them to Vidya. Now Raku's turn. Raku said, I need 17 pencils. How will you count them out? Shopkeeper gave him one box of 10 pencils and then gave him the box of remaining 7 pencils which he had opened earlier to give 3 pencils out to Vidya. So each got what they wanted. Manju and Sanju are two friends. Manju had two notes of 10 rupees and five coins of one rupees. Now Sanju asked Manju, I want seven rupees. How will you give them? Manju got confused because she had two notes of 10 rupees and five coins of one rupees. She did not have seven coins of one rupees. Now she thought, and here came the idea. She went to the shopkeeper with one note of ten rupees. She asked the shopkeeper that in return of one note of ten rupees, he should give her ten coins of one rupees. Now she had one note of ten rupees and 15 coins of 1 rupees. Out of these coins, she gave 7 coins to Sanju. After that, she has 1 note of 10 rupees and 8 coins of 1 rupee. Subtraction by Untying a 10 Preparation Sonu, I have two notes of 10 rupees and five coins of one rupee. I have to give seven coins of one rupee to Nandu. Nandu, but you only have five coins. That is five rupees loose change. How will you give me seven rupees out of these? Sonu, that's not difficult. I will go to a shop and change one 10 rupee note for 10 1 rupee coins. Nandu, now you have one 10 rupee note and 15 1 rupee coins. Give me seven of these 1 rupee coins. Sonu, so in the end, I have one 10 rupee note and eight 1 rupee coins. It means I have 18 rupees left.